Hey everybody, uh, it's Tom again. Uh, today's uh, Wednesday and uh, it was New Comic Book Day. So I went to uh, the comic shop and picked up the few books that I had on my pull list. Uh, I also have here uh, a stack of books that I got in trade um, with three uh, fellow YouTubers. Uh, Scott X1307 and the Young Candy Shane and my buddy Steve Fool Killer 5150 uh, it's probably our sixth trade, maybe fifth or sixth. Who knows? It's just every time I put a trade video up, uh, Steve's the first guy to reply, and uh, you know we just throw books at each other all the time. So um, what I'll do first is uh, show the books that I got today at the comic shop for uh, our haul for today. Uh, this is a book that I've been waiting for for a while. Um, it's uh, Guardians of the Galaxy number 18. Uh, I think here they're going to finally let us know what happened with Richard Ryder, uh, Nova. I don't think it's been in, he's been in any other stories since the whole Thanos imperative. Um, and here they also explained uh, how Drax uh, has come back to life. Those of you who don't know, uh, in the Thanos imperative, Thanos just ripped Drax and apart and just murdered him. Uh, so um, I couldn't understand how he was back again in the uh, in the comics. Um, we also have here what happened here? Oh, there we go. Uh, the three D covers are back for for DC. And I picked one up today, um, the Detective Comics, number one, it's our Future's End Detective Comics, Batman, number one, it's a one-shot, and there, you can see Riddler, no you don't, so that's kind of cool, I dig the artwork on this cover too, it's pretty cool, and uh, picked up Harley Quinn, number ten. And uh, there's a new Red Sonja book out there that uh, I didn't really know a lot. Uh, I think I heard it was coming out, but I didn't know when. So uh, they had one issue of this left, um, so I picked this up. Hope it's good. Uh, I know I'm liking the regular series uh, with her. Um, the artwork in this looks pretty good so far. Haven't read it yet. So that's going to be cool. Um... And now the rest of the books that I picked up at the shop today were back issues. I picked this up uh, for Scott uh, Scott X1307. He had mentioned that he wanted this from uh, my trade video that I had, but uh, I had already traded my copy to Steve, Fool Killer 5150 and I stumbled across this today and got that for him. I also picked up uh, a back issue of Wolverine, number 86. And the rest of the books here that I'm going to show you are all detective issues um, that I picked up for a buck a piece. So we got, uh, they were in his dollar bin uh, today. He's got a dollar bin with uh, relatively current issues. Um, so we got detective number three for a dollar. That was pretty cool. Number 20. Number 13. Number 16, number 17, this is a cool cover, number 11, and number 10. Uh, I also got a copy of Comic Shop News, uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys get this, and what I thought was interesting, uh, the movie kind of grew on me. I didn't like it when I first saw it, but after I've seen it a couple of times in reruns, um, I've kind of come to like it a little bit. And this is for John Carter of Mars. I really like this cover. I'm going to see if I can get my hands on that. Um, so that's pretty neat. And then it uh, looks like there's another Marvel uh, event coming up with Avengers and X-Men. I don't think I'll be picking this up at all. And then they gave us, they give us this. Um, I think it's for all the 3D covers that are coming out for Future's End. I think the only other 3D covers I get will probably be Harley Quinn and maybe the Batman ones. Um, 
And this looks interesting too. The death of, death of the family collector set with that Joker's mask. If that's not too expensive, maybe I'll pick that up. So that is the books I got for this week. And uh, now I'll pull out the books I got in trade. I also wanted to take this opportunity to thank uh, everybody who watched my last video um, from a couple days ago where um, you know I showed uh, an update for my room my comic room and had some water damage and people had a lot of well wishes and hoped everything was okay yeah it's not like uh, Hurricane Sandy type flood um, it's just some minor water damage but it's enough to, to piss you off um, so the first group of books here are the ones that I got from the Uncanny Shane and a link to his channel will be down in the description below and uh, the first book I got was Rocket Raccoon the Loot Crate exclusive so that was great because I'm a huge Thanos guy I wanted to pick up Rocket Raccoon number three and Star Lord number two and three I just uh, didn't have any cash today to do that um, I ran out of money and I wasn't going to use the credit card today for comic book buying. I also got from him uh, Captain America, the Ed Brubaker run. So I got number one, number two, number three, and I haven't read any Captain America stories in years. Uh, so these are the first ones that I've read in a long time. Number five and number four. I've read the first three issues so far, and I, I really like this. Um, I think number six may be the first appearance of the Winter Soldier, um, so that'll probably be a little pricey to pick up. But I want to get more of these Brubaker, Captain America run the storylines. Um, this, this was really good read. If anybody who, hasn't, who has not read this and you like Captain America, I recommend you picking that up. Um, I also got... Um, BPRD, Hell on Earth, and um, according to uh, Shane, this is when uh, Abe Sapien leaves the team and goes out on his own. And then I picked up from him uh, a run of Abe Sapien books, number one, number two, number three, number four. Number five, number six, number seven. I like Hellboy, um, so I'm hoping these are good. Number eight, I've not read any of these before. Um, I've read a few Hellboy books and uh, I enjoyed them. And of course, I love the two movies. Uh, number nine, number ten. And number 11. And uh, next I'll show the books I got from Scott. Um, just going to pause this for a quick moment. And we're back. Um, next are the books that I got from Scott. And Scott, your books are, are in the mail. I'm sorry they didn't get to you sooner and hope you like the books that you got. Um, so we have Uncanny X-Men number 222. And Uncanny X-Men, sorry for the glare, number 180. I don't buy a lot of X-Men titles, but when I can stumble across them, anything, you know, under 200, I'd like to get if I, you know, if they, you know, fall into my lap. Uh, this is a book he just sent me, because uh, we were commenting on, on the covers, that uh, how I like them. And uh, what's not to like here, it's a pretty neat cover. So let me just hold me on that for a second, okay. Uh, next we got Captain Marvel number one, Green Arrow number one, uh, Tomb of Dracula number 66, this is one of the nicer copies that I have of Dracula. I'm also working on a trade with Steve to get some other Dracula books. Um, most of my Dracula books are a little beat. Legends of Red Sonja one of four. And then Legends of Sonya, three of five. So when I spoke to uh, Scott, he said that uh, 
Maybe there's a numbering error. It's either that or there's a four issue mini series and a five issue mini series um, for Legends of Sonya. I have to look inside the front cover. Uh, I like the uh, Frank Thorne's art. And then uh, Red Sonya number five. I also got uh, West Coast Avengers number 102, the last issue. Some Power Man and Iron Fist for my Power Man and Iron Fist run. Number 91. And number 81. Power Man and Iron Fist 117. So that takes care of the books that I got from Scott. And again, thank you very much, Scott. Hopefully we can uh, do a trade again. And uh, hopefully you'll be happy with your books. Whoops, my little backdrop is fallen. I've got to get a better backdrop. And last are the books we got from, from Steve. So we'll just swing over here now. So we got uh, Miss Marvel number one. Uh, the Frank Cho uh, work on this. Again, I'm a big Frank Cho fan. One of these days, hopefully, I'll be able to get him to sign a couple of books for me. Conan, uh, the Barbarian, Barbarian, 172. Number 213. A nice copy of number 67. Number 68 and number 72 and a lot of my Conan books I got it kind of just fell into my lap so to speak you know I didn't go out of my way to, to try to get them that's on the bag um, but just you know I was able to get some cheap you know at a flea market or a yard sale and through trades and you know I'm starting to put together a nice little run of Conan of course I got uh, Red Sonja's first appearance up there Conan uh, number 76, Incredible Hulk 253, and then some Doctor Strange's uh, number 56, 52. The funny thing about uh, trading for Doctor Strange books with Steve, I, when uh, the first trade I made with him, I think I traded him almost all my Doctor Strange books, and now I'm, I'm trading to get Doctor Strange again. And number 50. He also sent me um, some Deadpool books uh, from the miniseries. And I actually have issue 1 already. And so he sent me number 2 and number 4. So uh, I think I need, obviously I need number 3. I don't know how many issues are in this series. Um, but, uh, you know, I've got now 1, 2, and 4. I also got uh, a nice 12 center Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos, number 48. Ghost Rider, 36. 37. Number 40. Number 78. And number 79. So that's it for this week, guys. Um, again, thanks to everybody who commented and and watched my last video um, and all the nice things that folks had to say. And um, until next time, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye.